Good morning. So I've had tons of you guys ask about um, showing you more of what we eat and to do like more makeup tutorials and show more of like the beauty things that I like to use. So I would love to do that because I mean beauty is one of my passions like makeup and just like the artistry of all of that. And then um, I love to cook too, so I'd love to show you guys what I make. I just, I know there's so many people that get so frustrated because people share their meals on Instagram or whatever. Um, so I didn't know if you want, you would want all these vlogs to be like all about food, but I can definitely show you the different things that I make um, in the mornings and for sure when I'm at home. Um, and then I can even show you things that I take when we're on the go. Obviously we're not 100% perfect all of the time. Um, I've had to really like train my mind with food because I lived my entire life in one extreme and then when I went on the show I kind of went to the other extreme and I never knew what balance was. I never could find that balance um, and I think over the last couple of years I've really tried to figure out what balance is, you know, to, I don't even know if moderation is the word, I just feel like you know, food is food. Food shouldn't be more or less than that. Food fuels you, you know. you. It shouldn't be everything in your entire world and it shouldn't be something that you're afraid of either. So I've had to find that that middle balance because I've been on both sides of it. Um, so yeah, so that's just kind of where I stand with it. You know, I'm definitely not perfect. I do like to eat um, most foods with as little ingredients as possible. Um, but that's not the case for every single food, every single meal. I will show you guys what I'm making for breakfast this morning and then we'll just kind of go from there for the rest of the day. Whenever I have my camera around, um, when I'm making meals, I'll make sure to film some of it. So this morning I'm just making some turkey bacon um, to go along with my egg scramble that I'm gonna make. Um, the eggs will have um, spinach and probably some mushrooms and um, I don't know what else I'm going to put in it today. I'm just going to go through my fridge and see what veggies I have and add that into the egg scramble. With this, I am just going to put um, some spinach and wilt that down in some ghee. Ghee is a clarified butter. Um, you can get it at pretty much any um, grocery store or I know Trader Joe's has it. It's a, it's like, I think it's an Indian butter. So you can find it like in the Indian section at the store. So I'm just gonna wilt this down and see what other veggies I'm gonna add in. So we didn't have any other vegetables that I really wanted to put in here. Um, I didn't wanna put like carrots and stuff in, so. I'm just gonna add in the eggs and I'm gonna scramble this up. I like them to be more scrambled rather than an omelet. And then I'm gonna add some feta. So I just kind of scramble it like this rather than I don't know, I feel like when I have an omelet, it just tastes too eggy to me, and I don't like that. So, this is what I'm doing. This is the finished product. Um, I just added some feta to the top. I added a little bit of garlic salt to it, um, just like freshly ground. And I'm gonna pair it with an orange and some uncured turkey bacon. That's what I'm doing today, and yeah, it's delicious wanted to talk about something um so I don't know if if you guys remember Arthur from my season of Biggest Loser and some of you might not have even watched the show um but for those of you that did you know Arthur you know he is just one of the kindest funniest people um and it definitely came across on TV um but even in person he just he has a heart of gold um he always treated me like I was his little sister um, and I feel like he's family. And unfortunately, um, he made a post the other day on Facebook saying that he had been taken to the ICU, um, that you know he had been having trouble breathing, and um, due to his lifestyle choices, um, he almost had to be cut out of his house. Um, and I remember on the show, um, when I first met him, that was one of his biggest fears, and he had lost 150 pounds before we even got to the show. Um, and one of his biggest fears was that he would have to be cut out of his house, because he was watching a show and um, somebody had to be cut out of their, their home. So anyways, um, fast forward, you know, five years till today, and, you know, I feel really bad because... I feel like I should have been in touch more with him. Um, I mean, we, you know, we'll text here and there, like, love you, hope you're doing well. 
but never like super in depth, especially the last like two years. So I had no idea that all of this was going on. Um, and he always, you know, he always makes like posts on Facebook and stuff that he, you know, he's doing football or, or fantasy football or whatever it is. So, you know, I just thought, oh, he's just living life, enjoying life, you know. Um, but right now he's in the ICU. I think this is day six of him being in the ICU. Um, everything's on his Facebook page. So if you follow him, you, you already know this. Um, and I, you know, I'm not giving it away, giving away any information that I'm not supposed to because it's all public um but if you could just say a prayer for him and his family he has two kids and his beautiful wife heather um you know they've been spending their days with him there um please just say a prayer if you pray if you don't pray just send some love their way they're in portland oregon um and just I, I just it breaks my heart like the other day when i first heard about this i was bawling my eyes out because um, I know the struggle, you know, the struggle is real. Everybody, um, in my world, um, especially the biggest loser world, we all struggle, you know, and if you have a weight struggle, it's something that you have to fight every single day for life. Like that's just the, the bottom line and that's the fact of the matter. And it just breaks my heart that people, you know, want to tear other people down because of their struggle when everybody struggles with something. It's not, you know, most people it's not weight. Um, a lot of people it's weight, you know, it could be anything. It could be anxiety. It could be depression. It could be addic you know, addiction to, um, pills or alcohol or whatever. And it's like, why are we judging somebody else's struggle? Like, let's support each other in everything that we do. Um, so instead of tearing Arthur down or any of us down in any way about weight or whatever it is, you know, let's just build each other up. Let's, let's pray for each other. Let's encourage each other. Let's motivate each other. Let's help each other in this fight because we have to fight every single day, no matter what your battle is. Um, but Arthur, I don't know if you're even able to watch this, but just know that I love you so much and you are my brother <laughs> and you always will be and I love your family and just know that the Croziers and Respices are praying for you today and every day and if you need anything we are always 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 here for you. Hi baby girl. What are you doing? You know I'm getting ready to leave huh? Well I love you so much and I'll see you in a little bit but I have to go to work. I love you. Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. You're going to watch Fixer Upper, okay? You watch HGTV while I'm gone. So it's been quite an interesting morning. Um, I have been having like these really bad headaches. They kind of started on vacation. And it's not like a normal headache. I don't know if it's a migraine and I've just never had them before. Um, but I don't know, it just really hurts and I get dizzy and I've even felt like I was going to pass out a couple times this morning. Um, I don't know. I just, it doesn't feel right. Um, and I really don't like the doctor. Um, I just, I don't want to be on medication and all that. Um, and I really, I, I'll be honest, I haven't been like diligent with, um, using my oils, which I really am going to do tonight. Um, or right now before I leave for work um, because I didn't have them when we were on our honeymoon. I only had a couple of the oils with me. Um, so I'm going to see if any of those can help um, support, you know, my immune system and see what's going on. I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I've never felt like this. So hopefully um, I will feel a little bit better um, once I apply the oil. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. I've just never felt like this. So... Um, I do have to go to work though, um, so I'm headed there now. I'm working with Alex, so hopefully, like, if I don't feel well, then it'll be okay. I can just, you know, like, take a minute or whatever, but yeah, um, I don't know. I'm really hoping it ends up being okay. I'm, I'm not somebody that gets sick very often, like, I get colds here and there, but I just don't, I don't get super sick, so this can't happen, especially right before Christmas. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on it. Just pulled up to work, and Alex is in there. I don't know if you can see him, but it's not super busy in there right now. But there's a couple people in there getting their yogurt, even though it's pretty cold out. Hi, babe, I see you. <laughs> hey, come here. Did you get a new collar? Did you get a new collar? 
Right. Yeah, you did. I think it's a little too big, though. It's a little too big, but you have your gold Christmas collar. Don't you? You sweet girl. Yeah. You funny. There it is. Very pretty, girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, pretty girl. So I'm home from work, um, and I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, my head still really hurts, like, in random spots, but I do feel better. And I was actually talking to my dad, and he said that he had the same exact thing um, where he felt a little woozy, and he actually felt like he had to pull, he needed to pull over when he was driving. So, um, and I've had those feelings where I just feel like this isn't right, you know. Um, and then I read, like, a bunch of statuses randomly on Facebook today about people saying that they kind of have the same thing like the dizziness and all that so I'm thinking it's like a bug or something um, I'm really gonna try to fight it cuz I just really don't want to be sick of course nobody wants to be sick but um, yeah this it's just so weird like I don't know I really thought I was gonna fight through everything this winter and I still think I can cuz I, I know this is just the beginning stages of everything but this headache just has got to go away um, and if any of you guys are going through this right now too seriously let me know if there's anything that's making you better um, and I'm thinking rest is probably the number one thing um, but that's just not gonna happen right now so hopefully I can get this figured out soon I'm getting ready to make some crack slaw for tomorrow um, just so we can take it to work with us and I have the organic ground beef um, just a bag of coleslaw like cabbage and carrots and other stuff and then ghee and then I'll add some minced garlic to it as well and then um, we'll put sriracha on it um, tomorrow whenever we eat it but I just pulled this out of the <laughs> out of the freezer that's why it's just 828 but um, yeah so I'm gonna make this I'll show you guys the finished product but it's really good to make um, and have on hand just in the fridge for the week or for a couple of days or whatever and it heats up really well So I actually think it's better when it's reheated. So that's what I'm making right now, and I'll show you guys the finished product And here's the finished product um, It might not look super appetizing, but I promise that it is um, And like I said if you add sriracha or some type of hot sauce to it It makes it even better you like I said you can use any kind of meat you want um, you can use ground turkey, ground beef, um, you can use chicken breast if you want, basically any kind of protein, the cabbage, and the healthy fat, and you are good to go. So I just wanted to let you guys know that with the crack slaw, you don't have to cook it in ghee, like if you can't find ghee at your store, you can cook it in any healthy cooking fat that you'd like. Um, I've done it before with extra virgin olive oil, um, coconut oil, avocado oil, Kerrygold butter. You can literally cook it in anything that you want. Um, and you can also add other spices to it if you want to change it up a little bit. Um, I'll link the recipe that I usually use down below. But pretty much every time I make it a little bit differently, just with different spices or whatever. Um, but it's so good and it's so easy and it's, it's husband approved for sure. Um, anybody that's ever tried it that I know has loved it. And it's like, how did we not know about this before? It's so simple um, and it's low carb and it's actually, the version that I use is actually Whole30 approved. Um, so you can do it any way you want, but I think it's delicious and it's it's just a super good way to get in your proteins and healthy fats and some vegetables um, in for your dinner or your lunch or whatever you have it for. Just finishing editing this vlog and I'm gonna go to bed after this, but this little gem right here, this peppermint oil has made my life so much better tonight. Um, I've been applying it since I got home. I'm not gonna say it took away my headache because I don't know if it did or not, but I currently do not have a headache. I feel 100 times better. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing with this. I'm also gonna diffuse it when I go to bed. You're the goat, peppermint oil. Greatest of all time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna end this vlog right here, um, but tomorrow I'll show you guys a little bit more of like the beauty things that I use, and I actually just tried a new foundation out today that I really like, so I will see you guys tomorrow.